Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today I saw Tiffany Dawn do a video a while back that I thought was interesting. It's called Invade My Privacy Tag video. So I thought that I would jump on that bandwagon and do that video as well, just so that you can get to know me a little bit better. Do I wake up cranky? I would say no. I never really have. It is kind of an interesting thing that when I was younger, I always needed to go to bed by like 10 o'clock. I would wake up early with a smile on my face and be ready to face the day. And as I've gotten older, it's just interesting that I feel like I've kind of switched to being more of a night owl, more than a morning person like I was when I was younger, but I still wake up, I don't, I would, I don't work it, wake up cranky. Would you date a man 25 years younger than you? No, I'm currently divorced a little over two years and no, 25, I'm 41, 25 years younger. I think that would just be too much of a difference at this age. I think it might depend on what your each person's age is on how big of a difference that would be. Would you ever st smile at a stranger? Yes, and I have. Can you commit to one person? Yes, I was married for almost six years and it just, we were different people and just was not, neither one of us were real happy. So the divorce was a good thing, but I have never cheated on anybody, never want to. How often do you listen to music? I listen to music usually in my car. I work from home so I don't have a long commute, so I'm not in my car that much or that long, but I resell from, I do resell, so I work from home. So a lot of times I'm listening to music when I'm doing my listing. I resell on Poshmark and eBay. Are you a social or an antisocial person? This one's kind of tricky. I wouldn't really say that I'm antisocial because I feel like I'm friendly and I do like to, you know, meet friends for drinks or dinner, but I don't like to really have things, you know, booked out every day or a lot in one week. So that part I feel like kind of makes me antisocial because I don't like to just go, 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 go. And I wouldn't really seek out talking to people. But if I'm out in the store or something, you know, I'll be friendly with the sales clerk or other customers if they're talking. And so I'm kind of in between, I'd say. If your husband or partner says they love someone else, what would you do? Well, that would, I would probably be, you know, heartbroken and upset because that would be a very personal thing. I think it would be a blow to the ego and I'd be very sad. I don't know what I'd say. I guess I'd probably say, luckily I haven't been in that situation. I guess I'd probably ask them, you know, if they are wanting to have a life with that person um, so that I could know exactly where we stand and what the next steps are. Are you good at hiding your feelings? Yes, I feel that I am. I don't think anyone has ever accused me of wearing my heart on my sleeve. So I think pretty much all my life I've been that way. When I used to work in corporate retail, I worked for Kmart Corporate Retail and Inventory Management. And in one of the meetings, you know, there was kind of a heated uh, discussion that was going to be with one of the vendors. And before, before we went into the meeting, some of my coworkers were saying to everyone, you know, now let's not get heated. Let's not make this emotional. You know, this is business. We have to just deal with this vendor and let's not get, you know, heated. And one of them looked at me and said, we know we don't have to worry about that with you. So, no. Uh, let's see, can you drive a stick shift? Nope, never learned. What's something people would be surprised to learn about me? Hmm. Well, I feel like at least pretty much all my life, I think that people have kind of thought because I'm quiet that I'm kind of stuck up or not friendly and then later on people would be like oh well, you're really friendly and really nice so that might be one thing and I don't know if it comes across or not but I do suffer from anxiety I think that might be something I'm not sure if that's something that people would just be able to pick up on um, I've had some really bad panic attacks where I've gone to the emergency room so I guess that would be that how bad the anxiety that I do suffer from has been over the years. 
if you would like to know more about that, I definitely am open to talking about it. Just leave a comment down below. When is the last time you cried? Well, I'm not a big crier. Um, I guess that goes with not showing your feelings or being able to hide your feelings. So I can't really remember. I'm sure I've cried sometime in the time, but you know, during my marriage when things were kind of breaking up, and ending, I know that I cried some then. There probably has some been some time in between then and now, but uh, I cannot remember. Let's see, have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to? Yes. Um, most of my boyfriends, serious boyfriends, prior to being married were people that when I first started talking to them, I didn't really I just saw them as a friend and never really saw them as more than a friend. But then as more as we started talking and hanging out, then we started dating. So yes. What is the biggest life lesson from being on YouTube? Well, I haven't been on YouTube that long. I haven't really got comments or anything, but I think that the biggest lesson so far, I'd say, and just watching other YouTubers and starting to do it, is to not really worry about other people, you know, do things for yourself that you enjoy. You know, that I pick the videos to do that. Some of them I think, oh, okay, I think that people would like this, but some of them are just, you know, I want to do it. I think it's in interesting. Like my Made in the USA s series, I just really wanted to support a company that is made in the US and I felt like it was kind of hard to figure out which ones. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to highlight these companies because I think that they should be highlighted. So I think just kind of figuring out what makes you happy, what you want to talk about and doing it for that reason, instead of thinking like, oh, I want to be the next big star or anything like that. Luckily, knock on wood, I haven't gotten any mean comments or anything. So I can't, I can't really speak to that, but I think that that would be a life lesson because if you get mean comments, not to take it personal. Do, do, do. Okay, what defines success? Uh, for me, this is the last question. For me, success has changed over the years. When I was younger and just out of college, I thought success meant how much money you made, you know, what size your house was, and if you were married with kids. Well, when I first graduated college, it was also to have, you know, that career it job, you know, the have it all, as they say. So that is what I thought success was. Now, after being now in my 40s and going through some more life living, I guess you'd say, I now define success as different. I think that success is different probably for everyone, but for me personally, I define it as generally being happy and being okay with you, who you are. You know, I think that my anxiety has been something that I've had a hard time accepting over the years. And so accepting that that is a part of me and that's who I am, it makes me who I am. I don't need to apologize for it. It doesn't make me broken. You know, I think that that is part of being successful is being okay in your own skin. And yes, having money to survive, but I no longer see success equaled with how big your house is or how much money you're making because I've realized that you can have all that and still not be happy. And you're not going to be happy 100%, you know, 24-7, but to generally be happy, I feel like is more important than having that big house. So I think that for me, it's definitely about being comfortable with myself, being happy with myself, and I feel like I've, you know, yeah, I think that's, you know, that's it. So I had fun making this video. I hope that you found it interesting, and let me know down below if there's anything that I touched on that you'd want to learn more about or want me to talk more about. I've been open to it, and I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video videos has been a fun journey so far and I'm excited to keep going on YouTube. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.